Have you ever wondered why car crashes in games like Flexic X or BeamNG Drive feel so realistic? It's not just the graphics that make them lifelike. The secret lies in an advanced system known as the Game Physics Engine. But here's the catch. Creating a reliable crash simulator is no easy task. It involves intricate processes, making high-quality crash simulations a rare gem in the gaming world. Today, we're peeling back the curtain to uncover how these crash simulations work and the impressive technology behind them. When you crash a car in a game, the entire event is handled by the physics engine in real time. Let's break down the process step by step. The first step is to identify the exact moment and location of the collision. The engine uses a technique called bounding boxes, invisible 3D layers around objects like cars, walls, or barriers to pinpoint the areas where objects come into contact. Once the collision is detected, the engine calculates the force involved. This depends on factors like the car's speed, the collision angle, and the car's weight. For instance, if a car crashes into a wall at 100 km per hour, the resulting force will be massive, leading to significant damage. Finally, the engine determines how the car's structure deforms. Each car model is designed with predefined breakpoints, specific areas that are more likely to bend, crack, or shatter during a collision. For example, the bumpers and hood are designed to crumple easily, while the chassis stays relatively rigid to maintain structural integrity. How are crash physics designed? Creating realistic crash physics is a challenging and highly technical process. Here's how game developers bring these simulations to life. First, developers create a highly detailed 3D model of the car, including all major components like the chassis, wheels, and body panels. Each part is assigned specific material properties, such as steel, rubber, or glass, to determine how they behave during a crash. Once the 3D model is read, it's integrated into a physics engine, the backbone of any realistic crash simulation. Popular engines like Havoc, CryEngine, or the BeamNG physics engine handle real-time calculations for collisions and deformations. Advanced games like BeamNG Drive take things a step further by using soft body physics. In this system, the car is modeled as a network of tiny nodes and beams. When a force is applied, these nodes and beams compress, stretch, or break, simulating highly realistic damage. The reason crash simulations feel so lifelike is the sheer attention to detail in the physics engine. Here are the key elements that contribute to the realism. Each material reacts differently during a collision. For example, glass shatters into sharp fragments, steel bends under pressure, and rubber deforms elastically. The physics engine performs calculations at lightning speed, ensuring the crash unfolds seamlessly without any noticeable delay. Realistic crash simulators include debris systems that produce small fragments of cars, tire marks, or flying particles, adding an extra layer of immersion. And that's the fascinating science behind crash simulations. It's a combination of advanced 3D modeling, powerful physics engines, and detailed material behavior that brings these crashes to life. Games like Flexic X and BeamNG Drive have set the standard for realistic crash physics, and it's exciting to imagine where this technology will go in the future. What do you think? How could crash simulations improve even further? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed learning about the behind the scenes of crash simulators, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more exciting content. Until next time, keep crashing in games.